Hello and good afternoon on uh, Sunday. Uh, today we're heading out to go to Santerra Gardens, which is out in Redcliffe, Alberta. Right? Yes, gonna go out there. It's a new, I guess it's, I don't know. We've been out there for a couple of years yeah. now. So she wants to go check it out. She's getting into flowers, like, guys. I'm getting weird. into plants and everything like yeah. that, which I never really have before. Yeah. I just need to find one more indoor plant and then I'll be happy. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, I'm looking for a snake plant or a snake's tongue, or however people put it. Um, it's one that my mom had, and of course, I tried to take care of it and I killed it. So now that I'm actually doing better with plants and stuff, I want to get another one and try to grow one again for, for my mom. So that's the whole idea behind that one. Village. So yeah, we're gonna go to the garden center because we haven't been there. They might have what I'm looking for. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go to Value Village. I want to see if I can find a pair of runners that I can use for work okay. because the one pair I have right now, they're they're toast. They have holes everywhere. It's getting cloudy out today too. Well, it was raining this morning. Yep. I'm happy we didn't have the weather that parts of Alberta had yes. yesterday. Where my family, well, part of my family lives out in that area where they had the tornado yesterday, sort of. The High River yeah, area. The High River area. I got family up there, so we were watching that, and then we saw a video this morning. It was pretty big. And it was pretty big. From what you can see yeah. on the video. Uh, luckily, it looks like it just hit, like, fields. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we don't get that kind of weather here. Today. <laughs> anytime, yeah. really. Because, well, that sucks but uh medicine hat's known for its little bubble wow. we tend to not get things here we usually get one good storm a year and then that's about it so yeah let's head out to Franklin. <laughs> Well guys, we're at the Centurion Gardens and we're going to go inside and check, check it out. So let's go. So guys, check out these freaking tomato plant things. Huge, massively huge. I've never seen a tomato plant this huge. You guys gotta check this place out when you guys go to mess. That's called some Tura Growers on the Red Well, guys, we just finished at the uh, some Tura Growers. Uh, we didn't find what we were looking for. There's a lot there. There was a lot there. But not and what honestly, I was for. the flowers are like huge, massive, right? I have never seen flowers that big. Look, the, the tomato plants. Like, you couldn't walk past them. It was taller than so me. I've never seen a tomato plant that tall. So, we're just checking out, uh, I think we're just going around town just to see what they have, right? Yeah, I'm just driving around. We're just going to look at the different uh, greenhouses they have here. Red and Cliff then is the greenhouse capital, greenhouse capital of, of Canada, Canada or the world, I'm not sure, yes. but greenhouse capital of something. Ooh, really old buses. Oh. That's kind of cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, this is Green, Red Cliff is the greenhouse capital of Alberta, I think. Okay, I'm one of the two. Uh, Lots, I don't know. Lots and lots of people come here to do greenhouses. So if you've ever been uh, vacationing, I guess. In southern Alberta. Alberta come to Redcliffe and check out their greenhouses. They have some uh, pretty good stuff here. Um, they have like fruits and, and 
like what carrots and oh they have everything everything out here plus they have garden a big garden center that's a zero gardens and then last word and then uh squirrel oh squirrel yeah squirrel <laughs> just checking yeah and then uh, we're gonna head out to Valley Village. Village. So uh, see you guys in a little bit. A few moments later. Well guys, we just finished at Valley Village. Uh, we didn't find wet anything basically. She did, but it was too expensive. Oh. Not really, no. I just second guessed myself and Dude. they didn't have Honestly, Valley Village has gotten a lot more pricier for some things. It seems to be. Which I don't understand what's a profit organization. Get... Okay, so looking in there, we did those pink shirts. Yep. Right? Yep. I found one of the pink shirts. Oh really? With nothing on it. Yeah. For seven ninety nine. You go to Michael's and yep. buy it. For five ninety nine. Yeah. Brand new. Yep. And this so, is a non-profit, like I guess a used store. So explain to me why it's two dollars more here than it is to buy it at Michaels. And it's a used store. Come down below and ask. I think. I just. We could, we're kind of curious if you've ever shopped at like a thrift store and their prices are so ridiculous that you don't want to shop there. I just don't understand like how they can make their prices go up that high when it's brand new and you can get it. At a different store for less. Yes. And keep getting confused on that. Makes no. Well, look at the shoes and stuff like that. And like the. Well, some of them, they just they weren't in that good of shape. You no, know, and they're asking like $40 or 50 bucks, and it's a used store. So that's our rant for the day. <laughs> right? Yep. So, what are we had to do? Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, I don't know. We don't know, it's okay. So we're going somewhere. We're gonna go somewhere and we'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty then. Many, many minutes later. Well guys, we just got home. Uh someone's making coffee, but a different kind of coffee. Ice coffee. Ice coffee. Uh she did we well after having the iced coffee yesterday. She wanted to try and make it at home. To perfect it. To perfect it. And, and, I did. and she's perfected it, so she's gonna have some iced coffee for a change, and that's regular coffee. Uh, it's at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have no clue what we're doing on this evening. Uh, some stuff for business. Yes. And then, uh, I don't know what we're doing for supper yet. You wanna do some kind of pasta thing. Yes, we'll do some kind of pasta thing, and yeah. I don't know how, but that's apparently what we're doing. Yeah. So we'll talk to you guys, and if, I don't know if you wanna say anything else. Okay, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Well, guys, we're going to close up the vlog tonight. Uh, we didn't really do much for the rest of the evening, right? We just pretty much <laughs> chilled out. I dozed off. Yeah, she dozed off. And then, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's all we did tonight. Uh, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Smash the like button. And... Uh, Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Check us out on our TikTok. Right there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell when we don't upload every single time. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we're going to hit or what? 700 ish. Or There's 700 something. Yeah, so that's good. Last uh, I heard it was 708, but I don't know. We're at 709. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, don't forget to share all this stuff with your friends and family because we want to hit that 1,000 subscribers. And we're gonna, when we hit 1,000, we're going to give away a prize. Yeah, we're going to do a draw. Yes. Uh, on a live, hopefully. Maybe. Right? We'll see. We'll figure that out. Works. Yeah. So until next time, guys, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.